Stop drinking caffeine first thing in the morning. Welcome to Espresso Shots, powered by the Cutoffs and Coffee podcast. The idea of this video series is to give you all short videos on topics we believe need a little more explanation. We figured because we named a podcast after caffeine that we should spend the first episode talking about caffeine timing. I know the routine, hop out of bed, go to the Keurig, start the coffee, sip on that first thing in the morning. We've all done that and we've continued on with our day, gone and done what we've needed to do in the morning, done what we need to do in the afternoon, and then all of a sudden, early afternoon, you get that one, two o'clock feeling where you feel fatigued and you're tired and you need to go for another tea, you need to go for another coffee, you need to go for an energy drink even. We understand that's not good, but we don't know why we feel that way. Here's why. There's a molecule in our brain called adenosine, and adenosine is made as our brain uses energy. Throughout the day, the more energy we use, the more adenosine is built up. That's one of the reasons at the end of the evening, we are so tired and ready for bed. Light exposure, when we receive light and when we don't receive light, is number one when it comes to balancing our circadian rhythm. Adenosine has a big part in that equation as well. The problem with drinking caffeine first thing in the morning is adenosine and caffeine share the same receptors. So your body wants to burn energy and put adenosine into its receptors, but the first thing we do is put caffeine in our body. The caffeine then binds to the adenosine receptors, letting the adenosine build up but not have anywhere to go. Two to four hours after caffeine intake, when the caffeine starts to wear off, all of the adenosine that's built up basically comes crashing into our receptors. The receptors get filled up with adenosine and no longer caffeine, and immediately we feel a level of fatigue. How can we fix it? Easy solution. First thing we can do is push back our caffeine intake for an hour to two hours after waking up. Your body will then naturally start producing the adenosine at the normal rate when caffeine is introduced, they are no longer fighting over the receptors. Caffeine will take some of the receptors, adenosine will take some of the receptors, and you won't have that early afternoon crash. The other thing we could do is switch to a decaffeinated drink. Maybe some of us just like drinking hot water and it doesn't have to be coffee and it doesn't have to be tea, but we don't understand that because we're always drinking coffee or tea. Switch to decaf, no caffeine, still go through the same routine, but then have your first caffeinated drink a few hours after you've waken up. If this video helped you, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We will put out weekly Espresso Shots videos on things that we think you need to hear to help you improve your lifestyle.